Hey guys, in this video we are going to solve an example under the concept called inverse trigonometric functions. So the given example is if cos inverse p by a plus cos inverse q by b is equal to alpha, then prove that the value of p square divided by a square minus 2pq divided by ap into cos alpha plus q square by b square is equal to sin square alpha. And now the first step what we have to do is convert the inverse trigonometric function into trigonometric function. So in order to convert this inverse function let us consider cos inverse p by a is equal to a and then cos inverse q by b is equal to b. And now let us transfer cos inverse to the right hand side so we get cos a is equal to p by a which is a trigonometric function and name this equation as 1. And then coming to the next term, so transferring cos to the right hand side, we get cos b is equal to q by b. And now let us name this term as equation 2. And now according to the given example, which is cos inverse p by a plus cos inverse q by b is equal to alpha. So now let us consider the given example and replace its value with a and replace this value with b. So the equation would become a plus b is equal to alpha. And now applying cos on both the sides, we get cos a plus b is equal to cos alpha. And now this term is in the form of the formula of compound angle cos a plus b which is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b which is equal to cos alpha. And now this equation is in terms of cos and sin. So let us change sin a and sin b in terms of cos. So the equation would become as cos a into cos b minus sin a can be written as under root 1 minus cos square a and sin b can be written as 1 minus cos square b which is equal to cos alpha. And now this whole equation is in terms of cos. And now let us substitute the value of cos a and cos b by using equation 1 and equation 2. So here we get p by a into the value of cos b which is q by b minus of under root 1 minus cos square a which is p square by a square into under root 1 minus cos square b which is q square by b square which is equal to cos alpha. And now let us transfer cos alpha to the left hand side and this term to the right hand side. So here by transferring the terms we get the equation in the form of pq divided by a into b which is ab minus cos alpha which is equal to and here these terms are multiplying. So we can write this term under only one root as under root 1 minus p square by a square into the next term which is 1 minus q square by b square. And now the next step is squaring on both sides. So by squaring the equation would become as pq divided by ab minus cos alpha whole square which is equal to under root 1 minus p square divided by a square into 1 minus q square by b square whole square. And then here in this term square and square root gets cancelled and the term on the LHS side is in the form of a minus b whole square. So let us use that formula over here. We get a square which is p square into q square divided by a square into b square plus b square which is cos square alpha minus 2ab which is minus 2 into a which is pq divided by ab into b which is cos alpha which is equal to the term on the right hand side. So let us multiply these both terms. So here we get 1 into 1 which is 1. And then minus p square divided by a square into 1 is minus p square divided by a square. And then 1 into q square by b square will be minus q square by b square. Then minus into minus becomes plus. So we get plus p square into q square divided by denominator a square into b square. So here we have similar terms on both the sides. So let us cancel them. So that implies we are left with cos square alpha minus 2pq by ab into cos alpha which is equal to 1 minus p square divided by a square minus q square divided by b square. And now let us transfer these both terms to the left hand side and cos square alpha to the right hand side. 
So here we get p square by a square plus q square by b square minus 2pq divided by ab into cos alpha which is equal to 1 minus cos square alpha. And now let us rewrite the terms according to our requirement which is p square by a square minus 2pq divided by ab into cos alpha plus q square by b square which is equal to 1 minus cos square alpha which can be written as sin square alpha using the trigonometric identity. So hence we proved that the value of p square by a square minus 2pq divided by ab into cos alpha plus q square by b square is equal to sin square alpha. So this is one of the method to solve different examples under the concept called inverse trigonometric functions. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to Beach Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.